All right, so I just picked up this 46-piece uh, harmonic balancer puller. And this is the number that I picked up. Um, I got this off Amazon. It was 20 bucks, super cheap. And I'm gonna just show you how to use it. This is gonna be um, on a 350. This is the 5.7 liter. Uh, so we're gonna pull off this harmonic balancer. All right, so this is what comes in uh, the actual kit itself. You get all sorts of different size bolts. Uh, this is your um, centerpiece here that is going to uh, put pressure on the crankshaft. And then um, here's the puller itself. So let me show you how to hook that up. All right, so as you can tell, there's a ton of different uh, bolt lengths, uh, different threads, different pitches. So this is the one that I actually need that it's gonna fit right in here and screw right in without any problems. Just like that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we'll take this piece here and then uh, you wanna feed this through so it screws in. And then we're just gonna run it in a little bit here. And then now on the, uh, the tip that you can put in, there's three different um, applications that you can use. There's a flat one, uh, completely flat on the top, a uh, pointed one that's bigger, and then there's another one that's pointed but smaller. I'm actually gonna use the bigger one because it'll center um, this shaft right here better on the uh, crankshaft itself. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, line this up. And then we're going to start the bolts. Now, a good, uh, a good rule of thumb is you want to run these through at least till you can feel it on the back side of your harmonic balancer. So if you put your finger back here, if you can get your hand back there, uh, run it in so it bites in on a bunch of threads because you do not want to just put it in a couple turns because you can strip out your... Um, your threads on your harmonic balancer. So what we're gonna do is we'll just run them in. I'm running them all the way through till it reaches the backside of the uh, harmonic balancer. And plus the other thing too is when you do this and you put it, you want to have it so it's, it's flat when it pulls, it pulls equal pressure all the way around. So you want to run it in so it's not like cockeyed. So you want to have it so it pulls pressure equally all the way around. There we go. So now as you screw this in, get it to bite in a little bit on the crankshaft. Okay, there you go. And that's how it should look. All right, so this is actually gonna take a 14 millimeter. So I'm actually gonna use the uh, air impact because it just, it takes things off so easy. Uh, if you do not have that, you can use a breaker bar and then just get on there with a breaker bar and a socket and that pulls it off pretty easy also. But this way, it just, the there's no resistance whatsoever and it'll just pull right directly out. So let's go ahead and begin. Actually, it was a little easier than I thought. So some of these come off really easy. Some of them uh, takes a little bit, but that's how easy it is to take it off. All right, overall, I like this, uh, this tool. Um, this is the item number right there. And I will put this in the, um, I'll put the item number and all that stuff in the description. And again, $20 on Amazon. So, Hopefully this helps. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I've got a ton of videos coming up, so stay tuned.